This is a microscopy section showing a big lymph node here, a smaller lymph node here, and another very small lymph node. So there are actually three lymph nodes. There is some surrounding adipose tissue and fibrous tissue. So let's focus on the two larger lymph nodes. You will see that there is a blue area here and a pink area here. The blue area actually represents the normal lymph node parenchyma. Here we can actually see a reactive lymphoid follicle with a germinal center. The reason why lymph nodes appear so blue on low power is because they're composed mostly of lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are small round cells with very high NC ratios. And as you know, the nuclear material stains blue, therefore they appear blue. Now let's move on to the pink area. Here you can see that it is fairly well demarcated. And looking at the zone, we can see the lymphocytes here. And over here, there are uh, some islands and very irregular branching sheets of cells which look very pinkish or eosinophilic. And when we look on higher power, again, we can see these very irregular branching sheets. Uh, there's no obvious gland formation. That's the architecture is branching sheets and maybe sometimes a little bit of a trabecular pattern because they have elongated nests. And you can begin to see some very densely orangeophilic areas. And in fact, in this area, which is in the larger lymph node, um, you can almost see uh, like a concentric tight world arrangement of cells with dense orangeophilic cytoplasm. This is known as a keratin pearl. And this is a very significant feature which is quite characteristic of squamous cell carcinoma. So another keratin pearl we can see here. And as you move along, um, if you look at individual cells, you'll see that even though the NC ratios are quite low, the nuclei are fairly large and there is some variation in nuclear size and shape. For example, this nucleus is significantly smaller than this nucleus. Um, and this nucleus is also quite large as compared to maybe this nucleus. So there is nuclear pleomorphism. Uh, furthermore, you can actually see here that this is a mitotic figure. Another mitotic figure there. So what we have, just to summarize, is that we have branching trabeculae or sheets of cells which do not form any glands. Uh, there are occasional keratin pearls. Keratin pearls we can see. And on high power, the cells display cytologic features of malignancy. Therefore, this is metastatic carcinoma in a lymph node. And because of the presence of keratin pearls, this is metastatic squamous cell carcinoma. So in the context of metastatic squamous cell carcinoma in a lymph node, of course, clinically, it would be very important to know where the source is. Perhaps this could be from a laryngeal squamous cell carcinoma, perhaps from a skin squamous cell carcinoma. So clinically, the location of the lymph node would be in the draining region of that particular primary carcinoma. And of course, when we look at the staging, the TNM staging, this would at least be N1 already. Uh, and in fact, it's maybe potentially even higher because there's one, two, three lymph nodes that are involved. So this is a case of metastatic squamous cell carcinoma in a lymph node. And this is, of course, a case of secondary malignancy.